One of my favorite things about Extreme Rules, well, no, it was the favorite thing, it has to be, doesn't it? Is that the returning Bray Wyatt was asked, how long do you want your return to run here? And he said, yes. How many of your old characters do you want to appear? Yes. How long do you want this whole thing to run? Yes. It's fantastic. That's right. They waited a long time to bring you back, so you make them wait. That's what the frick I'm talking about. And it was cool. Like, imagine how cool it would have been if it was an actual surprise. Like, I knew they were doing the White Rabbit vignettes, and, you know, people had gotten the word for a while that Bray Wyatt was coming back. Imagine if this had been a total and complete surprise. Like, even though it was just kind of dropped at the end of the show with no other real, like, rhyme or reason, it was just there, like, still pretty damn cool nonetheless, right? Yeah. And, you know, frankly, for a company that needs acts that it can count on, for a company that needs, you know, bigger names, relatively speaking to this modern industry at least, Bray Wyatt fits the bill. And he's a guy that this company over the years has invested quite a bit in. So it makes sense to bring him back. And I'm glad that they did. Now that said, I'm hoping that Triple H and others in the company have learned from the mistakes of the past when it comes to the Bray Wyatt character, more specifically the Bray Wyatt featuring and presentation, and they're going to do it right this time. Because if they do, like Bray Wyatt can be a pivotal part of their programming over the next few years and not really like outlive his usefulness or provide some massive diminishing return. Like he's the type of character they really need and I hope they do it right. But there are a few key things I look at with Bray Wyatt's return and I say, these are the things that they need to be the most aware of. They need to mind for the most. And if they don't do it right, they're going to screw this all up. Number one, and this is a big one to me, don't force the face or heel stuff. It doesn't matter right now. Just let him be. Let it be. Maybe he's one of those tweeners that, depending on who he's going up against, he could play more heelish, play more faceish. You know, just don't force the face heel stuff. Just let it be. Let him be a version of Mick Foley, you know? Like, just let it be. Don't force it to be. Don't try to go against the grain. Just let it be. Let the audience guide you on where they want you to take the character. It was a really bad character fault of Vince the past last decade to decade and a half or so. He would sit there and say, no matter what, like, I'm just going to force it down people's throats. I'm not going to listen to the audience. And it really hurt the product at times. Like, so don't force it. Just let it be. Number two, make his appearances mean more. And what I mean by that is sometimes that means make them short, sweet, and to the point. He doesn't need to be wrestling on TV every damn week. Frankly, he doesn't need to be on every week. And in fact, I would strongly, highly encourage that. Because if you're looking at Bray Wyatt as filling like a supernatural character type of void that you have had since Taker is gone now, and you look and you say, hey, this WWE fan base, there is a place for that. And there is, there absolutely is. And we all know that to be true. We see the evidence of that. Part of the thing with Taker was, you didn't always have to feature him every single week for it to feel like a big deal as a freaking taker. Or you would pick and choose your spots when you did, maybe on a weekly basis. A guy like Bray Wyatt should have very few to no television matches. I would damn near argue that in his first six months, probably all the way through to WrestleMania, if he has more than one or two television matches at all, period, Raw, SmackDown, doesn't matter, they're doing something wrong. You need what he does on TV to funnel to the premium live events. You want a Bray Wyatt match to feel big. You want it to feel special. You want that character to feel big. You want that character to feel special. 
And that doesn't lend itself to me so well to having him wrestle on TV all the time. It should be very few and infrequent between now and WrestleMania, if at all. If at all. Another thing you want to do with this character, in my opinion, avoid any titles or belts or whatever the hell you want to call them, championships. They don't matter. If you naturally evolve to a point where you're like, ah, we have no choice but to do it, fine. But you don't have to right now, so don't do it. Let him be. And frankly, the Bray Wyatt character, regardless of the iteration, is much, much better when he doesn't have a title. Because that type of character lends itself much better, in my opinion, to being about personal issues, personal heat, mind games, that type of stuff. And him being champion or him chasing a championship just doesn't really fit the bill for me. Kind of a little old school in that sense of not everybody should be world champion, not everybody needs to be world champion. And some characters, frankly, are better off if they're not world champion. Like some of Taker's best work was when he wasn't world champion or wasn't chasing the world championship. It's not the B that it's the world championship or nothing else matters. You can, you can make a lot of other things matter if you do it right. But you got to make his appearances mean more. Do not show him in every week. Like be really judicious about the television time you use. Like I know you had him appear on SmackDown for a little bit last week. But maybe you only show them for like a minute and a half or two. Maybe it's a video recap. Like you figure out different ways to space this out each week. Another key thing is don't go too stupid here. Don't go too like he's in his own head and he's battling himself. And yeah, like the audience isn't going to want to see that. Give him somebody that he can legitimately feud with. Somebody that is worthy of him. Not his goddamn brother in disguise or some other crap like that. Like, part of the reason you brought Bray Wyatt back is because you needed somebody that could feel like a big deal. You needed somebody that could add something to your show, to your card. And he can do that. He absolutely can. But you got to do it right with him. And another big thing, and this is probably the single biggest thing of all. All this other stuff probably doesn't matter half as much if you get this right. Although I would argue that those other things are critically important too. But the single most important thing for the Bray Wyatt character that Triple H, Stephanie, they need to get right is when Bray Wyatt's in a big match, he needs to consistently win those big damn matches. Like how many times do you think about Bray Wyatt over the past eight, nine years, whatever the hell it's been, and you think back to, oh yeah, that's right, he lost here. Oh, that's right, he lost. Oh, that's right, he lost. Oh, that's right, he lost. And at some point in time, you say, what the hell is the whole point if the guy's never going to win? What the hell is the whole point if you're just basically going to talk all that shit? And then when it gets to nut cutting time, you can't get the job done. At some point in time, the fans are going to tune you out. They're not going to care as much. Because why would they? Because you haven't given them a reason to care. It's all talk and no action. It's all sizzle and no steak. Whatever you're going to do with Bray Wyatt from an in-ring standpoint, Survivor Series, he needs to win. You say, well, what about Royal Rumble? I keep him out of that damn Rumble match, find him a personal issue, and whoever he's facing, he's got to be somebody worthwhile, maybe an Edge. Unless you want to say that's the Mania match. Ooh, Bray Wyatt versus Edge at Mania. Regardless, personal issue at Survivor Series, win. Decisive. Royal Rumble, win. WrestleMania, win. At all the big shows, Bray Wyatt needs to win. You need to establish him as a type of character that when he comes after you, it's a problem. If you come at him, it is also a problem. And if he decides he wants to fight you, it is an even bigger effing problem. And what would happen is, is when you used to get to the point that you would have a Bray Wyatt match, it didn't matter. It's got to matter. If you want this character to matter and deliver what it can, then you have to treat it like it has a level of importance that it needs to have. 
That means make his appearances mean more. No wasting him on ham and egg or jabronis. Everything he does has to have a purpose. Everything that he does has to have a meaning. Everything that he does has to make the audience care. Period. Don't force him to be one type of character or another. Just let it be. You can get creative with it, but don't get too stupid. Don't show him every week. Let the fans kind of marinate sometimes on things. Let him stay as fresh as he can possibly be. Let the fans miss him a little bit. Let the fans, God forbid, look forward to his next appearance. But most importantly of all, above anything else, when it comes to Bray Wyatt this go-round, he needs to win, win, win at these damn pay-per-views, premium live events, whatever the hell you want to call them nowadays. If he's losing a match, I don't care who the hell it is to at WrestleMania, then all this crap was stupid. He might as well not even have brought him back.